Defining a function with many variables, now here's Heron's formula to calculate the area of a triangle given three sides, and um, it's an ideal candidate for what we're about to do. So we'll tap into main and get the keyboard up, head down to the Math 3 template, and here's everything we need to define functions and so on. So we'll start by defining. We need a name of our function, so I'm going to use HER, um, short for Heron and um, go back to the main menu now we need to then put an opening bracket and the parameters that we need to put into here so they're going to be the variables a comma b and c the letter choice isn't really that important but here we go we've defined that and um, now that is equal to so we've set up here's our telling class pad we're about to define a function its name is HER and the parameters are A, B and C. Now, for the rest of it, we need Heron's formula. So um, that's from the Math 1 menu and we get the square root template and it's going to be the variable S brackets S minus A, S minus A, close the bracket, open the bracket, S minus B, uh, close the bracket, open the bracket, and S minus C, uh, and close the bracket. Now, we still haven't told ClassPad what S is, so I'm going to tap outside of the square root there now and put from the Math 3, given that um, back to our variable menu that S is equal to, from Math 1, I'm going to put the fraction template, and back to the variable menu, A plus B plus C, all divided by 2. And um, that's basically our function defined. So when we tap execute, fingers crossed, class pad says done. Now, I'll just switch my calculator around here to landscape mode. And here you can see exactly what we've done. We've defined this function um, given this. So let's try it out. So here we go. We'll take the opening bit here to save a bit of typing. And let's test it on one that we um, already know about. Now, I need to get my keyboard up here. So where's it gone? Hold on, my keyboard, come back. Um, here it is, I'll bring my keyboard over to the window. We'll head down to the numeric. Let's use three, four, and five. We know that that's a Pythagorean triangle with an area of six. We'll tap execute, and sure enough, it's worked beautifully. So let's try it again. What about if we had an isosceles triangle, um, maybe of side 10 centimeters, 10, comma, 10, comma, 10. We tap execute, and there's our exact answer, 25 root 3. If we convert it into a decimal, 43.03. And um, so that's basically it. Anything that needs more than um, one input, we can always use multiple variables in our functions.